Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to move on. Last, Our last video, we talked about how to add integers. And in this lesson, we are going to learn to subtract integers. And when we subtract 5 from a number, here's an example, 2 minus 5, the result is the same as adding the opposite of negative 5. So subtraction is actually defined in terms of addition. It's just adding the opposite number. So whenever you see a subtraction sign, that's the same as adding negative 5. So we will always talk about the number 5 in this example like this as a negative 5 rather than minus 5. Rather than subtract 5, we're going to think of that as a minus 5. All right, so to, to subtract an integer, just add its opposite, and that will give us subtraction. Let's take a look at some examples. What do we get if we take 9 minus 12? Well, remember, subtraction is the same as adding the opposite, so 9 minus 12 is 9 plus a negative 12. And 9 plus a negative 12, using whatever method from the last video you, you like to use, is a negative 3. Negative 6 minus 8 is negative 6 plus a negative 8. And both are negative, so we get a negative 14. Here are a couple for you to try. I would encourage you to pause the video right here and see if you can come up with the answers to these, and I'll give you the answer when you get back. All right, I hope you tried those on your own. 3 minus 8 is the same as 3 plus a negative 8, which is equal to negative 5. Negative 5 minus 4 is the same as negative 5 plus a negative 4 and that one gives us negative 9. And lastly, 10 minus 7 is 10 plus a negative 7, which is positive 3. Subtracting a negative integer. Um, when we have a subtraction of a negative integer, we have a double negative here, so 7 minus a negative 15, and you know that when we have a double negative, that turns into a positive. So that's 7 plus 15, which gives us a total of 22. Here's an, an example from chemistry. It says the melting point of mercury is about minus 39 degrees C. The melting point of aluminum is about 660 degrees C. Huge difference there. Find the difference between these temperatures. So when, we, when it says find the difference, that means we're going to be subtracting them. So mathematically, our equation would look like 660 minus a negative 39. So minus a minus is going to give us this plus 39. And so we add the numbers and we get 699. The difference is about 699 degrees C. So again, pause the video, go ahead and work through these three on your own, and I'll give you the answers when you get back. All right, I hope you tried those on your own. 6 minus a negative 7 is the same as 6 plus 7, which is 13. Negative 5 minus a minus 19 is the same as negative 5 plus 19. And that one is positive 14. And negative 14 minus a minus 2 is negative 14 plus 2, which is negative 12. Evaluating algebraic expressions this time. Um, this time, to evaluate an expression, they give us what the values of the letters are, the values of the variables. A is 9, B is negative 8, and C is negative 2. If we want to take 14 minus whatever B is. Now, B is negative in this case, so we're going to plug in negative 8 wherever we see the letter B. So 14 minus B is 14 minus a negative 8. So instead of B, we just put the negative 8 value. And that becomes 14 plus 8, which is 22. In the second example, we have c minus a squared. So we're going to replace c with the number negative 2. We will replace the letter a with the number 9. So first off, we're going to do that substitution. So you can see we've substituted those values. Now we need to evaluate using our order of operations. We know that all exponents get done before any subtraction. So 9 to the second power means 9 times 9, and that's 81. So we have negative 2 minus 81. Both of these are negative now, so negative 2 minus 81 gives us a negative 83. Here are a couple for you to try on your own. Go ahead and pause the video, 
and we will check your answers when you get back. All right, I hope you took some time to do that. Um, this time we have x minus a minus 8, which is the same as x plus 8. So now instead of x, I'm going to put in the value for x, which is negative 5. So I have negative 5 plus 8, and that gives us an answer of positive 3. Letter H, we have negative 3 minus y. Well, this time y is 7, so I'm just going to plug in 7 there. And that's the same as negative 3 plus a negative 7, which is a negative 10. Lastly, we have letter I, which is y squared. So whatever y is, we're going to square it. And y right here is 7, so we'll plug in a 7 there. Minus whatever x is. Now x is negative 5, so we put negative 5 in there. And then we're going to add 3. Well, exponents get done first, so 7 squared means 7 times 7, and 7 times 7 is 49, minus a minus 5, so this becomes plus 5, and a plus 3. So we have 49 plus 5, we're going to go left to right, that gives us 54, plus 3, and when we add those two together, now we get 57. One of the things I just want to point out here is I would like to see you working vertically, showing me each of your steps in order so that I can see that you're doing the correct order of operations. And this just helps you and it makes it less likely that you'll make any math errors when you work in a logical order from left to right, or excuse me, from top to bottom vertically. And lastly, we have a quiz for you. Go ahead and work on problems one through six. I will be collecting this in class. So I'll have you tear off this last page. Make sure to put your name on it. This will be due at the beginning of the hour. See you next time.